Welcome to this week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment. Locate, learn, set up, hunt. Brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Well, it's October 1st. The leaves are falling, the fields are changing, and a lot of people are asking, where did my buck go? And the answer is actually pretty simple. We've talked a lot about how we don't believe in the October lull, and we've had great success in October in the past. Some of our biggest whitetails we've ever taken have been in October. But what you really have to understand, especially for a big mature whitetail, is when those leaves change, when the fields change. When we hit into October, it's like changing the channel for that deer. Everything for that deer changes. His entire life changes at this point. First off, his food source has changed. A lot of the alfalfa fields are froze, they're brown now, and there's not nearly the food value there left for the deer. And like up here in Saskatchewan, nearly all the crops off. I would say nearly 90% of the crops are off. So that's changed that deer's food source greatly. All that wheat's gone, the canola's gone, all that summer feeding area and the fall feeding area, that food source has been removed literally in a matter of a couple of weeks. And that's gonna force that deer to make big changes in his travel. A second point is their behavior itself. Those groups of bucks that were hanging out all summer, that's gonna slow down, that's gonna to start to stop as they start to kind of puff out their chest and try to determine their own areas and try to take control of the areas that they wanna be in when the rut comes. Especially the big mature bucks. The big whitetails are gonna be extremely focused on marking the area, establishing their dominance in that area and getting things ready for November rut. You can see the physical changes in these deer through October week after week as their necks begin to swell and they get that classic big buck look to them. So October 1st has came and that deer's food source has completely changed. That deer's behavior has completely changed. And that means that we might have to completely change how we approach hunting that buck. Sometimes that means a complete rework. Sometimes it means just making a minor adjustment. Sometimes we'll get lucky and we don't have to make any adjustments at all. And that's usually based on past history with that buck. So if that buck you're after has disappeared or activity in your trail camera has significantly declined, it might be a good time to take a step back and kind of assess the strategy you're using to hunt in October. We like to look at September and hunt September like it's September. We like to look at October and hunt October like it's October, not like it's September, and the same in November. When November comes, we like to look at November, the deer's food sources, the deer's activity, and hunt according to that, not according to what it was a month ago, six weeks ago, or two weeks ago. Sometimes we have a stand that'll make it through the entire season because it's in the right spot and we know the history behind that buck. Quite often, we have to make a lot of adjustments along the way to end up successful. And that's your Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment for the week. This week's Canadian Whitetail Scouting segment has been brought to you by Muddy Outdoors. Share your own muddy moment.